Hi everybody. Uh, I just want to talk today about how a the basics of how a variable frequency drive works, or a VFD. Now VFDs uh, are used to drive three-phase motors and to adjust the speed of these motors very, very easily, as well as a couple other benefits uh, like energy savings, process control, and just extended equipment life. But we can also use them to bring in single-phase power and get that three-phase output, which is really, really handy if you only have a single-phase service available. Uh, so variable frequency drives uh, can also be called variable speed drives, adjustable speed drives, adjustable frequency drives, uh, AC drives, inverters, tons of different names for them. They're all basically the same idea, right? Their purpose is to take a AC power, right? Whether it be a single phase power or three phase power, right? Three phase, which would be one, two, something like that. We want to take those, we want to put that into a motor, but we want to get that adjustable speed out of the motor. So the idea here being is it's not practical to change the number of poles inside of a motor in order to get a variable speed out of it. So what we want to do is we basically take our good old frequency formula, frequency equals poles times speed over 120. Uh, what we're looking for is speed is frequency times 120 over poles. What we do here is by varying this frequency, we can easily change that synchronous speed of the motor. So how we accomplish that? What we do is we take our power, like I said, single phase or three phase, and we punch it into the VFD. Now the VFD has three different sections inside of it. The first section it goes into is it goes into a rectifier. Now what a rectifier does is a rectifier takes AC and converts it into DC. So basically how that's going to look, right, and when I rectify AC into DC, I'm basically taking the bottom half of my sine wave and I'm flipping it up. So I see now a power that looks something like that. Then what we do is we take that and we will put it into the DC link inside the uh, VFD, also called a filter. Outside of that filter, once we're out of that filter, now we get a sine wave or a power output that is a very, very clean, straight DC output. Okay, so now we have this really, really nice DC. We've taken our AC, rectified it, filtered it. Really, really nice DC. Then what we do is we send it into the last part of the uh, VFD, which is the inverter. All right, what an inverter does is it takes DC energy and it turns it into AC energy. Now this is where the big trick is with VFDs or what they do that's so special is when I do that, instead of just doing how it does that, sorry, how it does this is it will actually pulse the DC at a different speed for a different length of time. It'll also adjust the DC voltage at which it's pulsing. But basically what happens is we will pulse it on for a short period, off, then on longer, off, on longer, off, on a bit, on shorter, and then we'll do it in the opposite direction, right, on, off, on, off, on for longer, off, on, something like that. And again, we're talking, oops, we're talking for very, very, uh, very, very short pulses, very, very quick. Sometimes 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 times per second, we're switching this on and off, right? And the speed at which we switch it is called a carrier frequency of a VFD. So it's usually thousands of hertz, right? Thousands of times a second, it can turn on and off. Now what happens, because this is happening so quick, 
what our load sees, right? The output of our VFD, which will be a three phase motor, is it actually sees three very, very nice sine waves. The VFD, the inverter, creates three of these, exactly that 120 degrees apart, which gives us a really nice, clean, three phase sine wave with an adjustable, an adjusted voltage based on the frequency that it's outputting. Outputs at 60 hertz, it'll be at 100% of the voltage. That motor's gonna run at rated uh, speed, rated load. If we only output 30 hertz, it's only gonna be running at exactly half the speed and we'll apply exactly half the amount of voltage, which will make that motor run uh, with the rated load, but only at half that reduced speed. Uh, so the VFDs are really, really handy for things like that, and we are seeing them everywhere now, right? They're the most common application for speed control. We can do ramp up, ramp down. We can do high inertia starting. We can do everything that we need to with the VFD, including even taking single phase and turning it into three phase, which can be really handy if you just don't have that three phase service available. Um, just a quick rundown on how VFDs work. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped.